everyone, Sharon here from Lilydale Library for the Pasta Art and Jewellery Demonstration. Now you'll find the instructions have been posted out in the kits and, are also, and also will be on Facebook. Let's begin. Today we'll be making some pasta jewellery like this. I'm just going to pop mine on and some pasta art. Okay, let's go. Okay, so to begin, we're going to make some pasta jewellery. We're going to make a needle with a pipe cleaner. So if you get your pipe cleaner, you need to fold it in half. Now you want to twist it, but leave a, like an eye, on a, like a sewing needle on the end, like that, this. And just twist a bit more. Now, can you see that? Now we're going to get a piece of wool. So I've got a long piece of wool here. We're going to thread that through just so it's like a needle. Right, now we're going to start making a pasta necklace or a bracelet. When you thread your first piece through, you will need to tie a knot with a piece of pasta on the end like this. Make sure you leave a bit of a tail on the end, that makes it easier. So that will secure it and stop all the pasta coming off. Then you can just pop some more on. You'll find that the needle is much easier for pulling it through. I've got some pieces of straw here as well, so I'm going to push them through as well. Oh, a couple of pieces stuck in. And you can produce your very interesting pasta jewellery, like I'm doing. You may want to use a butterfly piece. Now, if you want to use a butterfly piece, you'll have to wrap your wool around it so that it secures it. Otherwise, it won't stay on because it doesn't have a hole like the other pasta. And just keep going whoops, until you create a necklace. So have fun. So when you finish threading, you just remove your needle then you'll just need to get an adult to help you tie a knot. Like so, then you have a necklace or a bracelet. I'll put it on my, I'm going to put it on my, around my arm, but there's a necklace or a bracelet that you'll be able to wear. Okay, we're going to do our pasta art. Now I've got some PVA glue here that I'm going to use. I've got some material and some pasta and textures. Let's begin. So I'm gonna put pop some down because I've got a material tree that I'm gonna do. Let's go. I'll just lay this down. Now there's material in the kits that you'll be able to use if you want to do this. I've got some other fabric, which I'm using as the tree canopy. I've also got some clouds. So my picture is going to be a stormy picture. And I've got some butterfly pasta, which I'm going to use for butterflies because it makes really good butterflies. I've got one. I've got two. And I've got some macaroni here, which I'm going to make into a flower. So I'm just going to put some glue on so I'm ready. So I'm going to put you some green macaroni as the stalk. I've got some wheel pasta, which is as the centre of the flower. I'm just going to pop a bit more pasta on. And I've got some orange macaroni, which I'm going to use as the flower petals. But you can do whatever you like. This is your chance to use your imagination. The last bit I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple of birds in the sky. I think we need a couple of birds. So I'm going to use the macaroni again and make a couple of birds. Now 
Now I'm going to use my textures and make a butterfly. And of course this picture's got rain in it. I think we need some rain. So I'm going to make some rain. Bit hard because there's not much room. <laughs> And the other thing I might do is maybe put some grass on the bottom for the flower. But you can do whatever you like. You'll probably do lots more. That's the end of our video today. Here's some other examples of artwork that you might like to try and make or necklace. <laughs> Hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye.